Um, no intro, we're getting right into it. Uh, we got Bobo versus uh, Tilde. Tilde, our three-peat champion, if you do not count Xenoslaga, of course, where Zama beat him there. <laughs> um, with that said, uh, last three Xeno weeklies, uh, Tilde has won and has done extraordinarily well in, in pretty much every Xeno event for the past five or six weeks, mm -hmm. um, really since we got back. So we're going to see if Tilde can continue this in a matchup that he is probably not as familiar with based on his recent Xeno performances, and that is Snake. Um, Bobo, hailing from Westchester similarly to... Um, to quid has done so excellent so far and it's already up a stock against bobo yep it looks like right there the reflector extending falco's leg on that actually got till they tagged by the c4 on that one and i want to just comment there that up air is so good and, and falco's jumps are so valuable against snake being able to get all the way up there to hit snake regardless of how high he goes and punish him for it is so good excellent use of the crawl right there by bobo that movement has been so good however now we're seeing till they do what he does best, and that is rack on the damage into stocks. Very good chases on here. And again, like you say with the jumps, chasing high where snakes really do love to go. Very difficult to pin Ooh. snake down. And tough situation for snake to get out of. Tilde waiting. Ooh, looking for an air dodge that time. Uh, he has showed um, ooh, a great recognition right there by Tilde. Uh, catching that high recovery once again um, from Bobo. Yep. Check chase. Very no scary option. position on that because Tilde does like to stand there and wait sometimes to look for an option. So opting to try to use the C4 to catch that, but Tilde already in space for the kill. Yeah, and I love the utilization of, of Crawl from Bobo. It's been really good so far. Once again, Bobo utilizing Crawl, gets in, in uh, advantage once more. Cross up shield with dash attack. Nice spacing by Bobo, but okay. Quick option out of shield to dare. In the corner now. And Bobo has done a really excellent job of those ledge traps so far. We saw that in the set versus Raptor. Mm -hmm. However, um, it's be. been really tough for Bobo to get a disadvantage. Oh, that's probably it. Uh, all oh, right. Okay. The Cypher coming in clutch. However, we've seen Tilde dominate so far. It seems like it's really tough for Snake to keep up with the, 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 the speed and kind of the safety on shield that Falco has. Uh, once again, trying to catch this advantage state. Yep. I am liking Bobo's usage here of the C4 sticking close to the ledge. So if Falco wants oh to Oh my god. Oh. Just well, a Fal clean call out. If, if on Falco a jump. wants to commit and gets the kill though, does it really matter? Yeah. Uh, it's the thing is it's as Snake, you you really do want to stay grounded for the majority of the game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is just a jump call out. The spacing, little wiggles back and forth, calls out the double jump and says, ah, mm -hmm. very cool. Jump above me, please. And you're not going to beat Falco in terms of the ability to jump that high. Like, yeah. nobody can get out of his range on that one. You always have to be cognizant of it. Yeah, and we're going to be going straight into this game number two, right back to Smashville. Um, I would have liked to maybe have seen a bigger stage here. Um, I think... Uh, Tilly did an excellent job of kind of utilizing how small the stage was and the limited options that Snake had a disadvantage. Um, however, with that said, um, the conf I like the confidence from Bobo. I think there are just certain things that uh, needed to be, um, you know, tempered with. Certainly, an adaptation disadvantage I think is going to come. Utilizing more B reverses, utilizing more um, trickier options to get out of disadvantage state. We didn't really see many opportunities for Bobo to do that due to the pressure um, that um, Bobo was putting on. But a nice C4 stick is going to put him in advantage state just for a spare second, though. Once again, back and to news. And we are seeing that smaller stage does come into Bobo's favor in these advantage states because less space means less real estate where Snake is not currently having an explosive or right. some sort of control down. Oh, death? That's going to be it for Falco. That F took coming out super duper strong in the corner. Bobo up a stock. Hasn't taken a lead yet in this set. That is a huge lead so far. Super important. Ooh, looking for that second place probably. Actually still had time to trade after the C4 detonation. Mm -hmm. Cool call. Nice, excellent timing there from Bobo, utilizing the grenade. Didn't end up getting a follow-up, but I like the idea. And the C4 utilization has been so good. B reversing himself out of situations, but knows they Oh? Was that, was that a, grenade that drop into Nikita for That was, was an absurd recovery from Bobo and allows him to get back to the stage and get some extra credit. 92% is a nice spot to be in, but a genius recovery um, by Bobo. Throwing some C4s. That, that um, crawl is so good for, by Bobo. The spacing has been so good. Getting under laser. Oh, looking for that lingering hitbox on Bear. Doesn't end up working out. Yep, very good angle from Tilde on that one to pull him into the stage and actually take a little bit longer to reach the ledge. Actually avoids that hitbox. Okay, fair from ledge. This could be huge from Tilde. Does end up catching the jump. Oh, gosh. Really bad situation for Snake. Yep, baits the air no dodge. Jump. 
still has C4 to get back to stage, oh. but that is enough. And the advantage state from Tilde was so clean. Kept Bobo, no, knew the jump wasn't there, and pressured over and over and over again until uh, was, he was able to get the stock. An excellent advantage state coming out from Tilde. And that is why he has been one of the most successful players in New York in these past several weeks. Oh. All right, scary place to be, man, just to get himself back down. Ooh, scary place for Snake to be in the corner against Falco. Excellent uh, roll reaction by Bobo. That patented down air, so good. Up air, not enough. Right. Yeah, and again, we're seeing these resets to the ledge for the landing. I like that. Less space available if Falco wants to go deep. You have to commit off stage, and that means Snake has a better chance of getting back. Excellent mix up right there by Bobo. However, uh, Tilly has really only shown get up attack on those down throws. I would like to see an adaptation coming out from Bobo uh, before it's too late. I actually didn't know that shark under the platform when he goes that deep. That's crazy. Ooh. Okay. Till they a huge lead here. Almost anything will take the stock. Forward air, back air, down tilt. Not enough just yet. Snake super heavy. Ooh. Misses a punish on dash attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was waiting for the yeah. punish. I thought that was it. Okay. Boba gets back right. to safely with the back air. Yep. Ops to let go and air dodge to use that cypher to try to protect a little bit. Oh, and that down tilt with enough range. Just enough. Seek the stock and Tilde will be in winner's finals once more. And it will be against someone who he's significantly less familiar with. His normal opponent, Zamba, down in the loser's bracket. Might be out of the tournament, actually. I don't even know for sure. Hmm. He's out. Uh, oh, so uh, Zamba eliminated by Sinji. So, uh, Zamba out of the tournament. Tilde continuing success in winners. So it will be Tilde versus Quid. Um, if you are just joining us now, I am Unel. Mm -hmm. And I am Gretch. Good to see you guys. Hope you are having a lovely night, everyone. We have some excellent Smash Bros. continuing to come for you. Um, follow us on...